Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, my dear students, how are you? Hi. Hello, Mr. Elmer, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. This is a private class only for Elmer. I'm for Gustavo. <laughs> Okay, we were we were alone here. It was like hmm, only the two of us. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. How was your weekend? Very good. Very good. What did you? Yeah. Que hicieron? Working. Working. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Woo <-hoo>! yeah. Working. Right. <laughs> yeah, we had a, a lot of activities there. We were working. Let's see. Hey, we got a meme there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happened to me right now. Yo creo que me represento en este momento. Yo conectándome aquí. Hola, hola. Mi hijo aquí. Good evening. And I was like. <laughs> yeah, he loves the camera. I think entre mi hijo y el perro, no sé quién le gusta más ver, verse en cámara. Yeah. Ustedes no lo ven, pero yo aquí tengo a, a veces a Kiara, que es mi perro, que es muy grande. Y estoy aquí como <ríe> pushing her back. Right? Porque ella lo que quiere es subirse y verse en la cámara. Yeah, she's very crazy. But she's very big. Como un medio caballo. <ríe> she's very big. Okay. Chihuahua. No, it's a boxer. It's a big one. Uh, yeah, so that's why. I am like, <ríe> si algún día me ven así como... <ríe> <laughs> okay. okay, so uh, you were working. Gustavo, what did you do on the weekend? Hi, uh, I went uh, the Saturday. I don't remember, uh, but yesterday, yesterday I went to the to the beach. Hey, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's very, very nice. Mr. Jairo, what did you do on the weekend? Oh, Jairo is connecting. Yeah. There you go. Hello, hello. Hello, Ivan. Hello, good night. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good night. Cuando ya nos vamos a dormir. Cuando llegamos, good evening. Ah, good evening, okay. Yes. What did you do on the weekend? ¿Qué hizo en el fin de semana? Ajá. ¿Qué hicimos, Mr. Ivan? Uh, well, uh, I fixed my car, oh, for example. Cool. You fixed your car. That's nice. Uh, no, so, uh, reparé algunas cosas del, del vehículo. Yeah, I fixed my car. That's correct. Uh, it was very good. So if you need a mechanic, there you go. <laughs> Mr. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Mr. Jairo, what did you do on the weekend? I stay at home. Oh, we you stay at home. That's very good. All the ways he says. He's, he's a man of his house. Well, did you have the opportunity to advance on the platform? Yes? yes. Okay. Good. So we are going to check a little bit on the platform today, just to check that all the evaluations are done. Right, and we're going to go over them just for you to see and for you to check and correct if needed. Recuerden que la plataforma es de uso personal y no es limitado. Okay, la plataforma es algo que ustedes pueden trabajar todos los días. Eh, si terminan todas las unidades, perfecto, se quitan ahí a la pena de estarla trabajando. Y pues eso es lo que le da el paso a su certificado. Okay, al final tenemos evaluaciones, pero esas son de carácter de la clase pero lo que le da el paso a recibir un certificado es el completar la plataforma. Los temas los vamos llevando aquí de manera más corta. ¿Por qué? Porque se los tengo que ir explicando poquito a poquito para que no les quede ninguna duda. Pero en la plataforma ustedes pueden trabajar libremente. Si se traban en algún ejercicio, rapidito al grupo lo pueden mandar. Y si les da pena mandarlo al grupo, me lo mandan personalmente y yo con mucho gusto les apoyo. ¿Ok? 
So uh, we are going to check on the platform in a very quick way, and we are going to keep on working on the topics. So on the platform, you have different evaluations, right? And the evaluations are the ones that you have to cover for you to have the percentage of 100 on each of them. Here, in this one, we have to do a short conversation, selecting the option, right? You say, my family and I, plural, two people, you say, live or lives? Live. 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 My live. wife and I, two people, work or works? Work. work. Works. Work. work. My work. wife and I, two people. Okay. So we, walks or walk. we walk walks we, we walk walks con walk. ese es cuando hablamos de he yeah. she or he okay. our daughter emily she daughter. and you have works or work works she works. works in this case yes right so she drive or drives drives drives, drives. drives. our son he in this case don't or doesn't? doesn't? Doesn't. Doesn't. He rides or ride? Rides. 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 My parents, plural, lives or live? Live. 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 Plural. You cannot use an S with the plural. My mother, she, uh, take or takes? Takes. Takes, right? My father is retired. Father, he doesn't or don't? Doesn't. 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 Very good. He also, he also use or uses? Uses. 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 So they, they, it's a plural form. So they don't or doesn't? Don't. They don't, don't, don't. need a car, right? And you check it out and you have all these answers complete. The next evaluation that we have for this unit, uh, it's also the different irregular forms, have, has, do, does, right? We did this exercise in class. Este ejercicio lo hicimos en clase. My parents have or has? Have. Have. Have because it's plural, right? Plural. My mom and my dad goes or go? Go. Go, uh -huh. right? Because it's a plural form. My parents are very busy. Parents, it's plural. My parents are very busy. So I do or does? Do. 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 In this case, the sentence is about you, right? My brother, he, right? My brother doesn't live with us. He have or has? Has. has. He has an apartment. He goes or go to school? Goes. 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 Very good. And he does or do his homework? Does. He does his homework. I have or I has? Have. I have. Uh -huh. His name is Jason. We, we goes or we go? We go. We go, right? We go. With we, you use the normal form of the verb. And sometimes we do or does? Do. do. We do, right? We do our homework together, your homework. Homework can never be plural, right? You cannot say homeworks. Eso no existe. Podemos decir homework assignments, but not homeworks. And in this one, you had another little evaluation. In this one, we have to organize the sentences. Teacher, yes? Teacher, in this part, uh, in my case, uh, can you please uh, go down? Uh -huh. Yeah, in this part, he ha uh, the they uh, they have two two tech books. two tech spaces books. Uh -huh. and when you uh, push submit button they uh, 
they don't Warm they answer. Don't, you need to yes, put the, the yes. same answer in, in exactly. Both you, you need to copy the same answer. That's why I love what? to check. I it's it was a mistake when creating the platform, okay. Uh, they they double the exercise, pusieron el ejercicio doble. And in this case, what you need to do is to copy the sentence, right? Tienes que copiar la misma oración. Yo sí lo mandé. No, pero no, pues puedes. Puede volver a abrir el ejercicio uh -huh. y lo puedes volver a hacer. Esto lo puedes volver a hacer tantas veces sea posible porque la idea es que lo pasen con 100%. Okay. Okay. Al menos yo eso es lo que les digo siempre a mis alumnos. Ustedes tienen que pasar todo con 100%. Si lo volvemos a hacer y lo corregimos, it's okay. But the idea is that you learn. La idea es que aprendamos. What is the sentence for number one? Do you exercise every day? Right? Yes, yes I exercise, I exercise every, day. every day. Do you exercise every day? And in this one, sentence number two. Sentence number two, what is the first part of what, the sentence? What? What, what time, time do, do you, you lunch? lunch? You eat, eat lunch. Lunch, right. Eat lunch. So you have, what time do you eat lunch, right? I have it here. <laughs> what time do you eat lunch? And in this one, the next one that you have here. Uh, I study English, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, this class starts at nine o'clock. So you have here, does this class start at nine, at eight o'clock? Does this class start at eight o'clock? And it says, no, it starts at nine. I study English in the evening. When, when do you, do you study? study English? We play soccer and here we have to write, I have it right here. I am going to copy this one here. Here. And this one, what you have to do is that you need to copy the same answer, right? There you go. And when, uh, yes, we play soccer on Saturdays. Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? And there you go. As you can see, Mr. Jairo, you have to copy the answer in the two checkbox and okay. it's going to be correct, right? That's the only thing that you need to do for this one. And the final evaluation that you had for this unit was uh, the article, right? This article is about the schedules that we read the other day. And I think we did it, right? We did it in class. Yeah. And we did it for sure here as well. Joshua Burns and we are going to select an option. And right now, because of the time, we are going to go and, ah, sorry. I am going to do something here. Just give me one second. Solo para que no me vean ahí los secretos. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. And I am going to show it to you in a second. Ya se los muestro. So for this one, let me show it back. Le voy a volver a compartir pantalla. This one. I have here the answers. What is the first one? He gets up, then he goes for a run, then he has breakfast. He starts work and he eats dinner, right? And for the lady, uh, she goes to work, she finishes work, she has dinner, and she goes, she home, goes home and she goes to bed, right? We did this one in class. ¿Se acuerdan cuando lo hicimos y lo completamos en la plataforma? As well. So this is the exercise that you are going to do to finish your section number one. Then in section number two, that it's about the topic that we have been developing during this final week, we are going to have only three evaluations. And these are about questions with do and does. We also did this one. Linda, do you in an apartment? Do you? 
Leave. Leave. Remember that we use the normal form of the verb in the questions. No, I don't. No, I don't. I in a house. I live. I live, I live in a house. Very good. Eat a yard. It does. does it? Uh, it do, uh, With does, it, you, uh, okay, cuando tenemos uh, it, ocupamos does. does. Does it, y el verbo normal, does it have uh, a yard? Yes, it. So, yes, it does. Si it la does. pregunta anterior era con does, does. yes, it uh, does. does. Linda, it says, that sounds nice. Do you? Uh, I give you the answer. Do, 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 Thank you. Alone. I gave you the answer already. <laughs> do you live alone? Yeah, and yeah. no, I, no, I don't. don't. No, I don't. I with my family. I live with my family. I live with my family. And it says, that sounds nice. You, any brothers or sisters? Do you have? Do you, do you have, have? Very you have. good. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I. I do. Yes, I do. do. Yes, I do. I have. Yes, I, do. I have. I have four sisters. Really? Your house, many bedrooms. Do you? Do you? The house. Do you have? It. It. Do you? Does. Does, does, does your house. Does, does your house. Your house. Have. have. Many bedrooms. Yes, it does. Does, does. it has, has. four. Uh, Linda, you your own bedroom. Do you have? Do, do you, you have? have? Have. Do you have? Very good. Yes, I do. Yes, I, I do. do. Right. Yes, I do. I am very lucky. I am really lucky. Good. So these are the options that we have for this exercise. And for sure here, we have the second evaluation about uh, the places in your house with there is and there are. There is is for singulars, there are is for plurals, right? I have some chairs in the kitchen. Chairs in the kitchen. What is the one that you need for a plural? There are no. There is a, there are some, or there, there is no. There, there, is, are, there are some. There I are have some, some chairs. Some. Good. I have yeah. some chairs. There are some chairs in the kitchen. I have a stove in the kitchen. There is a stove. There is, there is a stove in the kitchen. Very good. I don't have a refrigerator. I don't have there a refrigerator. Is, there is no refrigerator. There is no refrigerator. I don't have any curtains. Oh, sorry. I don't have curtains on the windows. I don't have curtains on the windows. There are no. There are no. There are no. Very good. I don't have any rugs on the floor. There are no. I don't have any rocks. Rocks is plural. Yes, there are no rocks on the floor. I don't have any. There, there aren't any. any. Very there good. Aren't any. There aren't any. Si en la negativa tenemos any, there aren't any. Yeah. Si en la negativa no tenemos any, there are no, right? So that is something that you can keep in mind. Ah. Thank you, English Corporativa. Okay. The answer was there aren't any. <laughs> Yo tengo la respuesta. <laughs> but the platform says there are no. Well, there are no. <laughs> there are no. Al menos ahí ya ven, no damos cuenta. But the answer is there aren't any. And the last one that we have here is the evaluation for this section number two. On this one, we have two special houses. This was the class for today. So we're going to take advantage to have it right here. We have two specific houses. One that is very colorful, as you can see here, this one, and the other one that it's pretty special. Ven las dos casas, ven la diferencia entre ambas? Yes. 
which one would you like to visit? Si le dieran chance de dormir en una, where would you sleep? In the colorful one or in the strange one? In the strange one. In the strange one. It's so fresh there. It, yeah, it looks fresh. <laughs> yeah. But what about the colorful one? It looks comfy. I will stay in the colorful one. Maybe okay. here, I don't know, an alacran or something. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. I am pretty scared of scorpions. So here we have uh, Mr. Gustavo. No, you're drinking water. Don't worry. <laughs> in the middle of the water. <laughs> Can you help me to read the first paragraph? Yes. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is a famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful painting, painting. Many other houses. Near Miss Cisneros' house are white or beige, beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Miss Cisneros loves it. Very excellent job. Very good, Mr. Gustavo. We have some pronunciation issues to work on. For mm -hmm. example, Purple, right? Purple. 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 <laughs> the next one, famous. 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 Interesting. Famous. Interesting. Interesting. Porch. 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 Paintings. 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 And other houses. Other, other houses. houses. Misses. Yes. Okay, this one is from the previous uh, section, but I'm going to explain it for you. You have Miss, uh, Mrs, Miss, and Mr. Right? Here we have the four options. You have Miss, Mrs, and Miss is for ladies. Las primeras tres que tenemos aquí son para señoritas. Miss is señorita soltera. Miss, right? Miss, Miss Flores. No, I am not single, but yeah, Miss. But if you know that the lady is married, ah, well, if the lady is married, <laughs> if the lady is married, I have it right there. But if the lady is married, it's Mrs., right? Mrs. Flores, in my case, right? For the ladies. And for the lady, if you don't know, si no saben si la señorita está casada o no, <laughs> if you're looking for a ring and she doesn't have, si le andan buscando anillo ahí y no se lo pone. <laughs> miss, Miss, right? In this case is Mrs. The pronunciation, Mrs. Miss. Mrs. Mrs. In it's the same pronunciation for the two. Mrs. and Mrs. It's the same. But when you write, it's the difference. Si van a escribirle a alguien y no saben si está casada o no, pero ya es alguien mayor. Mrs. Y lo ponen así. Como este. Si no saben. Si ya saben que está casada, Mrs. Y el apellido. Y si está soltera, Miss. For the boys. It's only one, mister. And you don't know if he's married, if he's not married, he's divorced or what, you don't know, mister. Hasta para eso no somos complicados. Uh -huh. Imagine, <laughs> uh, but you don't know, imagine if a lady wants to know, she cannot do it, right? Because for the boys, only mister. Mister single, mister married. Con anillo, sin anillo, anything, mister, right? Very lucky ones. So in this case, when you have Mrs. Cisneros, right? Mrs. Cisneros 
It's a Mexican American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it. Good. Let's go with the next reading that we have here. This one, it's for, uh, it's going to be for Miss Angelica Reyes. Go ahead. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American trips. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called organs. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her organ. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, repeat <laughs> with me, Native. 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 Native, Native, Native American. Native, Native, American. Native, Native American tribes. 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 Native tribes. American homes. Native, Native American, American homes. Hogan's. 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 Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites, no invites, mm. right? Invites. Visitors, right. visitors, visitors to stay visitors. in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds two on the beds. floor. Oh. So no tienen patas. Two beds on the floor, and a wood and burning wood stove. stove. What is a wood burning stove? Stove. Stove de leña. Ah, de, exactly like that, right? Cocina de leña. It's a cocina de leña. Cocina. Right. That's a wood burning stove. And for sure, Mrs. Nelson, sabemos que está casada la señorita Nelson. No, no, no. We don't no. know because it says Mrs. Nelson, right? Mrs. Nelson is M N N S. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions, right? The guests are the people that you invite to your house. Los invitados, the guests. And that's it, right? That's the pronunciation. So in this one, you have only two beds and three chairs. And in the other house, what is the name of the other person on the other house? Oh. Ah. Is, uh, Cisneros. You, you, <laughs> you it. Cisneros. Let's see. You say that it's Cisneros. Exactly, Sandra. Cisneros is the last name, Sandra Cisneros, right? And she has uh, the rooms, right? We have a lot of rooms in her house and she has uh, books and paintings and everything. So Mrs. Cisneros' house, is it big or small? Big. It's big, right? Big. What about uh, Mrs. Nelson? Small. It's small, small. right? It's small. It's small. And the difference between Sandra Cisneros and Mrs. Nelson house, can you tell me a difference? We have big and a small, another difference? ¿Qué otra diferencia le podríamos hacer a las dos casas? We have big and a small. The first is in the city. Okay, the first one is in the city, good. And the other one in the country. <laughs> Good. Another difference that we can take from the two houses? The house of Mrs. Neros have a porch. It has and, uh, a And Mrs. Nelson don't have a porch. Yes. Well, this has a big porch, right? <laughs> In this one, 
It doesn't have a porch and it has a porch. Which one is beautiful and which one is not really beautiful? The, it's not uh, Mrs. Nero's house. Mrs. house, it's beautiful. But imagine for Mrs. Nelson, her house is beautiful. It depends on the eyes. It right? depends on the eyes. Nunca es que, es el ojo que lo ve, right? Because for me, this one, the colorful one, it's beautiful. And maybe this one is ugly, right? Así pasa con, con, con las chicas que a veces ven un musculoso así, todo así, todo guapo. Ay, no, qué feo. Right? And maybe another one is like, oh my God, he's very handsome. Y ven ahí a un gordito, gracioso y todo. Ah, qué lindo. And maybe another one is like, I don't like it. It's the same. It's always in the eye who appreciates the beauty. So I like the two of them. So after getting all this information in Mrs. Isnero's house, what can you find in her house? Three chairs, many books, paintings, the porch, two beds. What can you find there in Mrs. Isnero's house? ¿Qué cosas podemos encontrar en la casa de Mrs. Cisneros? The first one, colorful painting. Colorful paintings. What else? A porch, porch with, a, pink with a pink floor. A porch with a pink floor. And what else? Many books. Many, Many books. books. Very good. Three chairs. Where can you find three chairs? Yeah. In Miss Nero. Miss, uh, no, three, three chairs. <laughs> In a casa fair. Sandra. <laughs> In a casa fair. Mrs. Nelson. Mrs. Nelson, right? You have three chairs, two beds, and a wood burning stove, right? Those are the different things that you can find in the two houses. In la casa fea. <laughs> okay, good. Siempre está en el ojo del artista. There you go. So these are the evaluations that you have for the first two sections. In the next section, you were going to work on professions and occupations, right? In this one, what we have in the evaluations in the first part is the different professions, right? It says, number one, what is his job? He is a receptionist. Number two, she is a doctor. And number three, she is a nurse. What about number four? What is his job? Number four is a pilot. a pilot. In a complete sentence, you say, he is, is a, a, pilot. A, pilot. a pilot. Please don't say he is a pilot, okay? Pilot, solo los marcadores que llevamos a la escuela. He's a pilot. Y no se llamaban pilot, se llamaban marcadores. <laughs> He's a pilot. The next one. What is her job? Number five. She's she, a flight attendant. She is a flight, flight attendant. Flight attendant. A flight attendant. A, I ate an A here. A flight attendant. Very good. And the period, right? She's a flight attendant. The next one. Number six. What is his profession? He's a musician. He's a musician. He is a musician, right? Yeah. He is Mew. a musician. Mew. Musician. Yes, he is a musician. Because you say music, musician, oh. right? Musician. And number seven. She's a, she's she's a singer. singer. She is a singer, right? She is a singer. She's a singer because she sings songs, right? She's a singer. And number eight, what is her job? She's a judge. 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 She's a judge. What about number nine? He is a police officer. He is a police officer, right? He is a police officer. What about number 10? He's a lawyer. He's, He's a, a lawyer. lawyer, right? He is a lawyer. No es liar, okay? He is a lawyer. Liar is mentiroso. He's a lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer too. También es mentiroso. 
<ríe> no, aquí en Quito tenemos un abogado aquí, demandado. <ríe> mentira, mentira. <ríe> right, he's a lawyer. The next one, number 11, what is his job? He's a, he's a chef. Cook. He's a chef. Or chef. Okay, he's a cook or he's oh, a chef. The two sorry. of them are possible. You can say he's a cook and he's a chef. The two are correct. Number 12, what is his job? He's, He's a, a waiter. waiter. He's a waiter, right? The boys yeah. are waiters. He is a waiter, okay? Waiter is for boys. Waitress is for girls, right? You say she is a waitress, waitress. period. And number 15. What is her job? Sorry, 14? She is a? Salesperson. She is a salesperson. What is a salesperson? Una vendedora, right? She's a salesperson. Number 15? She is a? Cashier. Cashier, right? She's a cashier. Cashier. And number 16? He, it's a she. Uh, the 14 is no he. He's I am yeah, 14 is he. Yeah, it's true. Yo solo vi la de rojo. 14, 14. 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He is a salesperson, right? He. He is a salesperson. 15 is she. She is yeah. a cashier. Okay, she is a cashier. And the last one, she is. A security guard. Security guard. Security oh. guard. Guard. Right? She's a security guard. guard. <laughs> and there you go. Sorry. Ah, the period. A todos le puse punto. Sorry. You see? Esto no puede pasar en la plataforma. You don't need the period. Ya mi costumbre de ponerle punto a todo. She's a security guard. Sorry for my announcement there. So I'm very sorry for that. And that's it, right? The period was the problem. Don't put the period on that one. And there you go. You see, the period was the problem. So here you have, when you use the professions, it is very important that you say, ah, why? Because you say, in your case, in my case, I say, she is a teacher. In Spanish, you say, ella es una maestra, él es un doctor, él es un cajero, él es un motorista, right? She is a teacher. She is a chef. He is a driver. What is your profession? Elmer, what is your profession? So you say, um, I am a? I am a driver security. A driver security. What is that? Yeah. Is it like a security guard, but um, driver? Ah, that's very uh, interesting. Bodyguard? Bodyguard. A bodyguard. bodyguard. That's why you're very really strong and everything. Yeah. Ahora entendemos los músculos. <laughs> very good. So you are a yeah. security guard, but you are a driver. Yeah. Yeah. Of the president. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It might be. Say hello from me. <laughs> okay. Say hello from me. Dígale si me recuerda. <laughs> La de los arbolitos. <laughs> okay. Good. Go to the parrot. Uh, yeah. Yes, very good. So, um, what is your profession, Mr. Ivan? Uh, my profession... Uh, you say, I am a... I am, sí. Uh, what do you say in, in English? Uh, el que hace de planillas. Accountant. Account. Account. Accountant. Accounting or account? No, accountant. Accountant. I am going to write it here. Accountant. So you are an accountant. Ah, the most difficult job, right? El 28 lo andan viendo todos, así como. El 30 en la mañana. Es que lo deposito, es que lo deposito. Es like, ah, 
It's oh. eight in the morning <laughs> already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poor Ivan. Okay. I, I, I like your name. On the 15, uh, right? Exactly. <laughs> Good. Angelica, what is your profession? I am a human resources coordinator. Oh, a human oh. resources coordinator. So you are over Ivan. I was like, Ivan, las planillas. Yes. Pay, 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 pay. Pay, pay, pay. Jairo, what is your profession? I am a computer engineer. I am a computer engineer. Marvin, what is your profession? I am an electrical engineer. And you are an electrical engineer. Wow, nice. Of, of cars or of houses? Of course. Of course. Yeah, I need one. <laughs> <laughs> I le escribo. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Gustavo, what is your profession? I am a salesperson. You are a salesperson. Good. Carlita, what is your profession? Carlita Rodriguez. Siempre es un misterio con Carlita. Carlita, ¿dónde estás? Taco, los tacos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I always call Carlita and, and she's, it's a mystery. She never answers. Salvador, what is your profession? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, my profession is a barman and chef professional teacher. Oh, wow, you are a barman. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> hey, I I really admire I really admire your profession. Yeah, yes. um... right now he's in the disco, is he? Can you listen? Y, y ahorita está en, está en el lugar de trabajo okay. sí, sí sí, perdón, es que estoy en el hotel ahorita ah, that's nice sí, sí that's very nice Salvador está aquí ok, don't worry don't worry, continue, continue don't worry, don't worry sírvame lo que le pedí Come la carne <laughs> okay, good, very good. Thank you very much. So it is interesting, right, to get to know the different professions. All the different professions are important. All the professions are important because from the minimum thing that they have to do, it's very necessary, right? Cuando no llega la ordenanza, todo es un caos. Cuando falta el jefe, todo es un fiesta. Ah. <laughs> Uh, the human resources coordinator, huh? Everybody makes a party. No, all right. So all the professions and the occupations are important. And for this one, we, this is a topic that we're going to study later on, but because I really need you to continue working in the platform, we're going to finish with the evaluations only. In this one, when you say it is difficult, but she loves it. Cuando ocupamos esta frase de it is difficult, but she loves it, estamos describiendo el trabajo. Para describir algo, ocupamos how. How does she like it? How does she like it? ¿Te gusta? You say like, it's difficult, but she loves it. Right? Where is for a place and what is for general questions. If I say at the airport, he is a pilot. At the airport es un lugar. What type of questions do you need for at the airport? Where, what, or how? Where. Where. Where, where. where does your brother work at the airport? He is a pilot. pilot. And it says, he doesn't really like it. Estamos describiendo que no le gusta. ¿Cuál ocupamos para describir? How. How. How does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Oh, I guess they like them. Where? How do your parents like the job? Do your parents like? How do your parents parents like their jobs? The pronunciation? Parents. Oh, I guess they like it. I don't remember. In an office in the city. In an office is a place, right? 
Where? You say and don't where? remember where. Where do, do they, they work? work? In an office in the city. Mm -hmm. I am a student. Les acabo de hacer esa what do you do? Todos. Exactly like that. What yeah. do you do? I am a student. I see your classes. They are good. I like them. Uh, how do you I see like how you? like do you. Oh, how do you like do you your like? classes? I like them. They are very good. So these are descriptions. ¿En qué momento ocupamos where? Place. Places. 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 What? In general. In general. In general. And how? Description. For description. Association. Excellent. When you have to express a situation, right? How? How do you like your classes? Very good. And in this one, we have the different descriptions of the jobs. In the classes this week, we are going to learn many more adjectives for descriptions. But in this one, we have two options for the apostrophe and for the general description of the sentence. A doctor's job is interesting. A doctor has an interesting job. You have the two forms of expressing the sentence. And in this case, we have a police officer's job is dangerous. ¿Cómo haríamos la otra? A police officer's job is dangerous. Hagamos la de la otra forma. A police hat. A police officer, officer has, has a dangerous, dangerous job. job. Right? A police officer has a dangerous job. A teacher's job is a stressful. Teacher. A teacher has uh, a, uh, a stressful, stressful job. job. Okay, a teacher has a stressful job. The next one, a plumber's job is boring. Plumber has a, a boring, plumber job. Has a boring job. job. Very good. A plumber has it has a boring job. A plumber has a boring job. Do you know what's the meaning of plumber? Plumero. Plumero, Plumero right? Very good. An electrician's job is difficult. An electrician has a difficult job. A difficult job. Very good. An electrician has a difficult job. And a vendor's job is easy. A vendor, a vendor has, a, has an easy job. Okay. An, an easy job. An and or a. Very good. And because here we have a vowel. Here we have a vowel at the beginning of the sentence, right? Aquí tenemos una vocal para iniciar la frase. An easy job. No podemos decir a easy, because you cannot have two vowels together. No podemos tener dos vocales juntas. No podemos decir a easy. It's an easy. Como cuando decimos, por ejemplo, eh, an, an elephant. An elephant. You can have for, for sure an ice cream. An eraser. Right? In this case, you use an because you have a vowel at the beginning of the sentence, right? An elephant, an ice cream, an eraser. No podríamos decir a elephant, a ice cream, a eraser, right? So we need to use this one, an in this case, right? And here you go. And for sure, you click on submit. And here you have the different answers for this exercise. Okay, and I think you have finished that one. And we have the final evaluation for this section. And these are about the job profiles. What you have to do on this one is to read it, right? To read the profiles and to answer them. Yo sé que ya todos terminaron esta sección, <clears throat> right? And what do you remember from this one? ¿Qué recuerdan de lo que leyeron en esta sección? 
after oh, I win, I take a break. ¿Quién dice eso? After I win, I take a break. Uh, the gamer play. The gamer, right? John Blue. John Blue is the gamer. I don't usually work in the summer. I don't work in the summer. And the teacher. The teacher, right? Carlos Ruiz. I don't work in the summer. The restaurant closes around 2 a.m. And the uh, actress. The actress that also works in a restaurant, right? The restaurant closes at 2 a.m. And after work, my feet and arms are tired. It's uh, Becky Peck. Becky Peck, because she's a dog walker. Dog walker. ¿Aceptarían el trabajo de dog walker? Mm. No. Imagine the Salvadorian Kaisers. Estos profes son bien educaditos, super lindos, ahí caminan bonito. But here in El Salvador. <laughs> Como ya tienen hospital, se lo peleando quieren pasar. Ajá, because they want to go to the hospital, right? Ah, oh, take me to Chivo Pet. <laughs> ya, no voy a comer solo pollito. <laughs> ok, good. Eh, el hospital Chivo Pet no nos está pagando nada por este comercial. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this was the evaluation that we had for this final section, okay? I know that you also finished with the midterm exams. Mm -hmm. Para esta altura de la de la de las clases, mm -hmm. ya tiene que haber completado también sus exámenes de midterm. Eso es una review de todo, right? Una review de las tres eh, secciones que hemos visto. Así que si no las hemos hecho, se las dejo de tarea porque tienen que estar completadas. Okay. So, let we are going to go back to our presentation chun, chun, chun. let me see where are you where are you we were working on the last time in the different parts of the house and i gave you a homework it's this one and it says and uh, we are going to use there is and there are to complete the sentences in roger's house there is a big living room what do you use in the next one? There are. There are. There are two bedrooms. Two bedrooms and two bathrooms. There is no yard. There is no yard. There is no yard. But there. There is a balcony. There, there is a balcony. There is, there is a balcony. Only one. He has lots has of books. books. So there, there is a book. They are. They are. There are. There okay. are. You have bookcases. Bookcases. Plural. It's plural. So you say there are bookcases in the living room and bedrooms. There are any chairs. There is. Chairs. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are or there aren't? Aren't. Aren't, right? Aren't. There aren't, porque solo en las negativas podemos ocupar any. There aren't any chairs in the kitchen, but there. Uh, is a big table. Is a big there table. Is a big table with chairs in the dining room. There. Is a stove. Is a stove. A stove. In the kitchen. In the kitchen, stove. but there. Isn't. There isn't a microwave oven. There isn't a microwave oven. There are there are two there are television. two televisions in Ryer's house. Your house. There there is there is there one. is one television in the living room, and there and there is one television in the bedroom. And there is one television in the bedroom. Right. So in this case, you need to be very careful with the plurals. Because in this case, you have bookcases and it's plural. Two bedrooms and it's plural, but only a balcony. En el caso que estábamos preguntando hace poco, A y N son solo para singulares. Okay, solo para objetos que son singulares. In this case, you have a big table 
a microwave oven, one television. We can replace a and an for one, one television, right? A big living room. And I think it's just this one, right? So let's practice reading. We are going to practice together. In this case, it says, let me just mute everybody so we can start in order. Okay, here I go. Listen to the pronunciation. In Roger's house, there's a big living room. There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. There is no yard, but there is a balcony. He has a lot of books. And uh, so there are bookcases in the living room and bedrooms. There aren't any chairs in the kitchen, but there is a big table with chairs in the dining room. There is a stove in the kitchen, but there isn't a microwave oven. There are two televisions in Royer's house. There is one television in the living room and there is one television in the bedroom. Practice with me, open the microphones. In Roger's house, there is a big living room. In Roger's house, there is a big living room. Okay, in Roger's house, there is a big living room. In Roger's house, there is a big living room. There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Bathrooms. There is no yard, but there is a balcony. There is a balcony. He has a lot of books, so there are bookcases in the living room and bedrooms. He has a lot of books, there aren't any chairs in the kitchen, but there is a big table with chairs in the dining room. There aren't, there aren't any, any chairs in the kitchen, in the in the kitchen but there, there is a big table with chairs in the, the dining, dining, room. dining room. There is a stove in the kitchen, but there isn't a microwave oven. There is, there is a stove in, in the kitchen, but there, there is a microwave, a microwave oven. oven. There are two televisions in Royer's house. There is one television in the living room and there is one television in the bedroom. There is one television in the room and there is one television in the bedroom. Very good job. How can you identify the use of but? ¿Cómo eh, utilizamos la palabra but? But, pero. pero. Ah. We use but in order to contrast, right? You have, there is a stove in the kitchen, but there, is, there isn't a microwave oven, right? Hay cocina, pero no hay microondas. And you have, eh, there is no yard, but there is a balcony. Siempre es una afirmativa y una negativa. Tiene que haber contraste. No le puedo decir, there is a yard, but there is a balcony. It would be like, huh? Like, huh. see, sí, hay patio, pero hay balcón. It's like, en ese caso no ocuparíamos but. ¿Qué ocuparíamos en ese caso? Si vamos a hacer dos oraciones iguales, positivas o iguales negativas. ¿Qué usaríamos en lugar de but? Vamos a ver quién sabe. And. and, right? Usaríamos and. and. ¿Por qué? Porque si las dos son iguales, you say, there is a balcony and there is a yard. And the two of them are possible. There is no yard and there is no balcony. And. But if you have but, you contrast, right? I have a dog, but I don't have a cat. And you have the difference in the sentences. Okay, so that is when you use N and when you use but. We are going to finish the class today. Sorry again. We are going to finish the class today by analyzing this picture. What can you see in this picture that is strange? ¿Qué le ven de raro? 
The bedroom is in the kitchen. The bedroom is the sofa. Okay. In the, the living room is a stove. Exactly. Why well, you have a stove in the living room? And the uh, uh, refrigerator is in the bedroom. The refrigerator is in the bedroom, right? So, what are we going to do with this one? Esta va a ser la tarea para el día de mañana. What are you going to do? You are going to say, teacher, there is a sofa in the living room. Oh, no. There is a sofa the in the bathroom. Right? There is a sofa in the bathroom. That is incorrect because it doesn't have to be there. And you say, teacher, there is a refrigerator in the bathroom. There is a refrigerator in the bedroom. And you are going to create sentences about what is wrong. Vamos a crear las oraciones acerca de las cosas que están incorrectas en la casa. Okay? And if you have affirmative sentences, you are, go you are also going to include things that we don't have. And you say, there are no chairs in the dining room. También ese es un problema, porque no tenemos mesas en el comedor. No tenemos sillas en el comedor. There are no chairs in the dining room. Because you see, we only have one table. So you can write affirmative sentences and negative sentences about the things that are incorrect with the picture. But that is going to be for tomorrow. Ya les envío la foto a su WhatsApp para que puedan realizar su tarea. Okay? Have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow to continue learning in the next class. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Take bye. care. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care. Go to sleep.